I'm doing my master's in physics at the University of Manitoba. I'd like to start by asking you a couple of questions. First of all, if you don't mind, raise your hand if you've ever had an x-ray done at a hospital. Okay, great, thank you, a lot of us. Now raise your hand if you've ever had an MRI. Much fewer. X-ray and MRI are both technologies to take images of the inside of your body without having to cut you open. However, X-ray gives you an unwanted dose of radiation, whereas MRI does not. Right now, one of the big barriers to the use of MRI is that it's very expensive. MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging, and one of the main parts of an MRI machine is a big magnet with a magnetic field that we slide you into to take an image, as shown in the photo on the left there. The field aligns the spins of the hydrogen atoms inside your body. Now, if you have ever had an MRI, the next thing you'll know is that it is very loud. There are a lot of whirring and clanking noises, and most people find this, along with having to stay stationary in a confined space for about 30 minutes, to be pretty unsettling. These noises come from the field gradients, which are used to spatially encode uh, the signal that's received from the hydrogen atoms inside your body. So what that means is, in order to create an image, we need to know what piece of information is coming from where, right? The, my research focuses on a new type of MRI, which spatially encodes the signal using radio frequency waves instead of the field gradients. This would make MRI machines um, cheaper and silent. This new type of MRI is called Transmit Array Spatial Encoding, or TRACE. I've developed a low field magnet for studying TRACE MRI, and you can see the design concept in the image at the top right there. Uh, this magnet is a cylindrical shape, and it has a field that's about 1,000 times weaker than the clinical MRI machines that you see today in a hospital. Um, the magnet is also about one meter in length, and has a 50 centimeter diameter, so it is smaller, and it can't image humans. The really cool thing about my magnet is that I've designed it to have a completely uniform field throughout its entire volume. This perfectly uniform field will make studies of trace MRI much more effective, and hopefully help us bring it to the clinical market, making MRI machines cheaper, more accessible, and also importantly, silent. Thank you.